Hey my lovelies, my name is Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just like to say a very happy new year to everybody. So whatever you're doing, wherever you are, I hope you've had a really, really good one so far. So today's video, as you can see, I've already got a full face on. So if my eyeshadow looks different colours, they are. <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. What I thought I would kick the new year off with is last year I done a video on products that I would like but didn't buy in 2020. So I thought I'd kick off the new year to see whether I did purchase any of them or all of them or what did I purchase regarding what I coveted. So to kick off with, um, I did get some eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> But the one I haven't used today, I thought I would show first because I've got some um, clips of me applying the rest of the makeup. So I thought if we show this one first, we get it out of the way, job done. So one of the ones on my list was I wanted a Natasha Denona palette. And I did get one. <laughs> and the one I decided on was the Glam palette, which looks like this. And on the inside, we've got this beauty here. And she absolutely stunning. The reason I decided this one is because this one's all cool tones. I'm a cool tone girl, you know, I've got cool tone skin. I figured out not that long ago, really, that cool tones really suited me. So when I was um and R and just I just decided I was gonna suck it up, you know. It was a new one out last year. So wanted to say this year then, but you know, that's gonna catch us all out. But this eyeshadow, let's do a couple of swatches. I use this one so often, it is definitely worth the price tag. Okay, I just swatched a couple of the mattes and a couple of the shimmers there. This is a £60 palette if you're in the UK. So obviously I don't know the conversions, but in the UK that was £60. And you know what? Oh my God, I'm so glad I bought that one. I think I did choose right when I was looking at all the colours of the different palettes. And I looked at that one and I thought, do you know what? That's the one for me. Sticking with palettes, what I've got on my eyes today. Like I said, I've got two different eyeshadow palettes on my eyes. I know the other one on my list was Charlotte Tilbury, the Large Pillow Talk palette. Didn't quite get that one, but what I did get from Charlotte Tilbury was I did get the mini Pillow Talk, which is this one here. I'm wearing that one on my left eye so this is the one here don't give this one as much love as I should I don't know why you know when I put it on again today I thought you know what that is such a beautiful palette and I don't know why I don't wear it as often maybe because it's in a drawer I don't know but it's so small I've got nowhere to put it on the um, dressing table without getting it lost but it's such a beautiful palette and let's see I don't do it justice so I think I need to give it a little bit more love for the price tag because I think it's £40. I did get it with a 15% off, so that was awesome. I think that's what made up my mind to kind of get this one instead of the other one. So, you know, we all like a bargain, ladies and gents. The palette I'm wearing on the opposite eye, which is my right eye, is the Charlotte Darling, which looks like this on the inside. Again, absolutely beautiful. Let's do a couple of swatches of these for you. And look at the swatches on that. Again, absolutely stunning. And again, I don't do it the justice that it deserves. I really, really don't. Again, I don't know whether that's because, again, it's in the drawer. I don't know, but you know, where I've put it on today, it just looks so beautiful. It's effortless. It blends easily. It's really pigmented but I just don't give it the love again that it deserves. So, you know, I think note to self this year, give them a little bit more love. Sticking with Charlotte Tilbury, the third thing I coveted from her was the loose setting powder. I've got the two compact powders. I've got the fair and the medium and the fair one I use every single day to sit under my eyes. Didn't use it today because I got the loose powder from Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> I know, I'm extra. So this one, again, her packaging is just out of this world. I did only use that one to set under my eyes today and I've just made a big fat mess with that. You know, it's a very, very fine powder. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't very much, it'll do much on a swatch, but we'll sort of put a little bit of it in there for you. And as you can see, to me, it's got a very slight glow to it. 
I don't know whether that's just my eyesight, the lighting setup that I've got or what, but you know, but again, I've used that one under my eye and it is set it beautifully, absolutely beautifully. I did say on my other video that I'd also like to try the Hourglass Veil setting powder. So I decided to go with the mini because I just wasn't sure on it. You know, again, it's a hefty price tag. I think the Charlotte Tilbury one was, I don't know, about 30. I won't quote me on that, but it was around that mark. So, you know, not too bad, but I think the Hourglass one was a bit pricier. So I did pick up the mini and this one was, I think, £17. And again, I've used something to set my face today. But I think what's put me off, let's get a bit out, is it's quite yellow, you know, and it's it's more the colour that seems to put me off. But looking at my face today, I think it's fine. It There's no sort of yellow tinge or anything like that to my face. So I don't know why I'm not using it. So I think, again, you know, I need to sort of bring things to the forward and just use them you know I'm spending a lot of money on some of this stuff I'm just not getting the love that it deserves and you know I'm not getting my money's worth because I'm just not using it enough I also coveted the Too Faced chocolate bronzer and I got a lot of bronzers so it was a case of oh you know do I buy a big one do I get the mini and I decided on the mini so this is the packaging for this one as you can see it's really really cute and this is what we have going on on the inside don't know whether this will swatch because obviously being a bronzer so it's a beautiful color there you go it swatched quite nicely actually that one did absolutely gorgeous color but i don't know it's just not a favorite and i don't know why it's like the color's lovely it's not too warm or anything but I don't know, and it, it blends out rather well, but for some reason, I'm just not reaching for it. And I don't know why. Again, it is lovely, but not grabbing for it. So I'm glad I didn't buy the big one, because if I'm not grabbing for the mini one, you know, the big one would have been a waste of money. But again, I need to give it so much more love than it's already been getting. You know, I have used it, as you can see. I don't know if you can see there, but if I tilt it slightly, you can see that I have used it. Just not enough. The only highlighter that I really wanted to try was the one by Dull Beauty. So this is the light duo and this is in Champagne Nova. Like I say, huge, huge, huge pounds on this one. And I think this one cost me about £25. So a couple of swatches on that one. And again, absolutely beautiful, glowy. But you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't give it enough love I really don't I put it on this morning and I'm like oh you're really pretty you're really really pretty so why aren't I using you and again good question why aren't I using you you know I think I'm probably stuck in a makeup rut I need to maybe hide all my favorites so I don't use them for a month and grow to love some of the other ones that are absolutely beautiful so maybe <laughs> I'll do something like that in the future last but not least is a lipstick <laughs> i'm a very lucky lady i have got this amazing friend that absolutely spoiled me rotten for my birthday she is my number one youtube fan and for my birthday last year she went and bought me the chanel lipstick that i wanted she'd watched my video and she went and got me the lipstick how beautiful is just that packaging absolutely stunning this is in the colour Beige Couture, Velvet Beige Couture. Look, what a stunning colour that one is. Now, this is the one I specifically showed on my video, which I will link. So do go and check that one out. And look, that is just the most beautiful nudie with a pink undertone it is just absolutely stunning it glides on like a dream it looks beautiful it's quite natural looking which i like about that if i want to ramp it up a bit i'll just stick a lip liner with it you know but uh for sort of a quick on the go looking natural my lips but better kind of thing that one is just beautiful so you know i cannot thank poppy enough for the most generous gift that she got me for my birthday last year 
Welcome to Future Me. So, did you spot the deliberate mistake? <laughs> Wrong lipstick. Oh my God. Do you know what? I picked it up, looked at it, and I still didn't twig that I had just shown you the wrong lipstick that Poppy had bought me. So I thought um, I would, while I'm filming another video today, I would just do an insert of the right lipstick. I thought we'll keep the um, the Dior one in there anyway, because you know later on after I filmed that video, I did actually decide that I wanted a Dior lipstick as well. So it's like, oh, do you know what? Rather than cut it out, I'm just gonna leave it. So, <laughs> This is the lovely lipstick that Poppy bought me. See, Chanel. <laughs> I had to double check, you know, just make sure everybody can see that I got the right one this time and it's definitely, definitely Chanel. So this is in the shade um, 432 Cecil. And again, it's a beautiful shade. Absolutely beautiful. And the packaging is absolutely stunning as well. So we'll do a swatch of that one. I'm going to say this one's more, sort of got more of a shine to it and a nice slip on it. Again, absolutely stunning colour. So we'll pop a bit of that one on, shall we? <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh my God, showing the wrong product. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? So let's chuck that one on. Again, stunning lipstick. Glides on easily, creamy, bringing a bit closer. Absolutely beautiful. So that is the one that um, Poppy bought me. It wasn't the Dior one, it was definitely the Chanel one. So I thought I'd just pop in, chuck some lipstick on and chuck it into the video. So I pretty much got everything on my list. Like I said, I did change around the Charlotte Tilbury palettes, you know, when I umd and and umd and you know, so I did kind of change that around a little bit, but I did get everything else. I was absolutely determined that I was going to get all the other things that I wanted. Now, I did think about it and it's like, well, is there anything last year that I coveted that I didn't get? And the answer was no. So I obviously spoiled myself a little too much last year. But when I was thinking about it, I'm like, no, there wasn't a single thing that I thought, oh, I wish I'd got that or... Oh, maybe next year I'll get that because I didn't get it this year. At the moment, I cannot think of a single thing. So, you know, which is nice because it means that I probably got everything that I wanted, which, you know, like I said, I spoiled myself. You know, I work. I work hard. So, <laughs> you know, that's what I like to do is sort of treat myself to some cosmetics each month and make lovely YouTube videos for my wonderful, wonderful viewers and my awesome subscribers. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. It is great to be back in a brand new year with exciting things to come, I hope. If you like this kind of video or any of the other content that I've made and you've not yet subscribed, please do. I'd really appreciate it. So thank you so much and I will see you on the next one.